So would you like to connect your Wix website into your Shopify and why would you like to do this? So if you want to, uh, let's say to make the mood between Shopify and Wix, the main reason you might want to do this is because you want to actually make an integration. So if you want to make an integration, what you want to do is to open your Shopify. You want to leave it like that open. You have to... Uh, get here your online store and you have to enable your products here in order for making the integration so as you can see i have one two three four five items and two active so now i can leave this like that go into wix.com and in here what i want to do is to sign in in order to continue once you sign in what you want to do is to make the quick integration so here is my actual sites um, in my case, I don't have any site yet, but what you can do is just create a new site. It's going to be just really, really easy. So now that I have created here my actual uh, website, I'm going to hit into publish. So I'm going to go into the wix.com. I want to locate the actual dashboard, which in my case is actually this one. I'm going to hit into done. There we go. So what I want to do is to locate the automations. So here I'm going to scroll a little bit down and look out for automations. So here I want to get into got it and here you want to actually create uh, a new automation. So what I want to do is to hit into new automation. And here, as you can see, we have the actual I'm going to go and look for a CAP here because I want to actually do something like this. I'm going to start from scratch. And now that I have created my account, what I want to do is to create a new SAP so let's get into create sub inside sapier it's going to be just really really easy to create an account into sapier and this is an amazing place to make some integrations between one company between one stuff between one actual website into another one so hit into the actual trigger which is actually this one and here what i want to do is to look out for shopify so here it says shopify here it is premium i'm going to click on this one and here in the event, what I want to do is to look out for the new customers because you're wanting to do exactly the same automation as we did before into Wix. So this is the, this is my case, of course, new customer. Here into continue. And I want to connect, of course, my Shopify account in order for making the integration. So that's the reason why you want to have both applications already been opened. And you want to leave those into each single tab. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to go back into my Shopify and what I want to do is to copy my actual website and my email that I used in order for integrating here my actual store. So I'm going to make the installation of the application and just like that I am now inside Shopify from Zapier. And here into the second action let's look out for Wix. So here I have to look out for the Wix automation. Here, this automation, I don't have this available because I don't have the actual uh, automation enabled, but you want to choose, of course, that automation. Hit into an event and you want to choose create user like that. This is performed when the SAP runs. I'm going to hit into continue and I want to choose connect account of Wix. Now, this automation is not available because I don't have any order yet, but in your case, this should be appearing as on. So you just need to sign in. You just need to accept here the Wix. I'm going to just close this for a second. And you want to have your automation already been enabled. Otherwise, this just won't work. So with that being said, we've reached the very end of the video, guys. So hopefully this was very useful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And I will see you on the next video. See you soon.